So what's Rabbit Steel? The startup has put out this R1, which is a little phone adjacent device that acts as a standalone AI assistant. But with no subscription fee, how are they going to make money? Rabbit's secret sauce is what they call a large action model, or LAM. Unlike large language models, which are trained on millions of books and articles, the LAM is trained on images and videos of people using apps. So it basically learns how to press buttons the way that people do. And it does that not by using an API, but by pretending to be you actually using the app. But here's the thing. Running any AI model at scale is not cheap. And Rabbit doesn't even have its own language model. So it told me that it's using OpenAI, Anthropic, and Perplexity APIs in order to understand what the user is asking for. That's not cheap either. So how do they make money? I asked Rabbit and they gave me two answers. First, the CTO said they make enough money off of the hardware to cover their API costs for now. Ominous. Second, they've talked up the ability for users to train up their own little AIs, which they call rabbits, on apps that aren't already in the system. But what they didn't mention at first is that there'll be options to charge for these little rabbits. I think they're just hoping that this blows up and then they can just collect rent like Apple does with the App Store. So there does appear to be a business model and they're not just looking to get acquired. Will the R1 be free to use forever? They wouldn't commit directly when I asked them, but probably. That said, you can bet you'll be able to pay for extra stuff like faster models or custom voices. We'll know for sure whether it's worth it when we get our hands on one in the next couple of weeks.